We've got another TVC release here showing up. Uh, what I'm excited about here. We got Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader from the kind of the end of uh, the Obi-Wan Kenobi series with Vader with the slashed open helmet and Obi-Wan looking more like a Jedi than we've had before. It's a two pack, but it was somewhat of an excuse for Hasbro to charge us more because it was like 40 bucks. So it's 20 bucks a figure, which is what? At least $3 a figure more. So that's an extra $6 they got out of us to give us a box that goes around it kind of seems a little ridiculous but uh it does give us a cool figure so let's check this out and see what's inside. so inside we get two carded figures here with uh darth vader and obi-wan we'll look at darth vader here it's an interesting photo i would have liked it if it was you know the close-up of uh his mask being uh cut off i thought that would have been much cooler uh, this is okay this is more when he looks down at obi-wan um thinking he defeated him uh, but still, it, it works. Notice that they come unpunched, for those people who like that thing. This is number 291. You can see kind of the last wave I've reviewed there on the back, along with these. Obi-Wan, we get a picture of him also from that uh, that duel right there. He still has his pistol. I, I don't remember him having the pistol in, the, in that shot, but I don't know. And he is number 290. So let's open up both of these guys and really check them out. So let's look at the cool part of this Darth Vader, seeing Anakin inside. Now, I've already been seeing the complaints online, and there's some truth to it. The eyes don't line up. If you look at Anakin's eye underneath the mask and Vader's eye, it doesn't make much sense. How is he seeing out of that? Um, Hasbro missed something here. <laughs> they should have lined up somewhat better. It may be that that's the way the head fit inside there. Uh, I'm not going to pull this whole head off to see is it, is it fully painted like the Black Series 1 or whatever. I do like the paint detail uh, around the cut uh, and the helmet to see, you know, it's been cut. It's melted or whatever you want to call it. It still looks good. Yeah, it could be a little bit better lined up. And I'm sure, you know, you could pull this off and customize it. You can see his uh, chest box is all slashed up. I suspect that most of the rest of this is the same as the previous Kenobi Vader we got, which is a magnificent Darth Vader. I'm not going to fully compare it because I got enough Vaders. I don't need to go through and compare it. This does have a slash in the back of the cape right there. Now, I never noted this when I did the Black Series review. Black Series review actually had uh, damage to the back of Vader too, not just the cut through the cape. The, the, it had that too, but it had a um, damage back there that we don't have here. And his the outside of his cape is a little rough looking there. But, I mean, it's a strong Darth Vader figure. Other than that, helmet not quite lining up. It still looks really cool. And he comes with his lightsaber, of course. And a unlit lightsaber that you can put on his belt. So here we got Obi-Wan in much more Jedi looking robes. It's a pretty nice uh, head sculpt. Paint looks really good on that. Looks a little less like a mullet, a little closer to the end of episode three. Nice robes. He's got the holster for his uh, gun. I'm suspecting these legs are still the exact same legs as we've gotten with every other. Uh, the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, Obi-Wan. Um, and he does come with the, the pistol, as I said earlier. See right there. And that does fit right in the holster. Right there. And he comes with his lightsaber lit. And, of course, the unlit lightsaber. So we got both there. Um, you know, he's a pretty cool figure. He's, I don't know, just me. I felt this way with all the Kenobi uh, show figures. His legs seem short. He doesn't seem to have enough. Like, he feels like his legs should be longer. I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one who thinks of that. Let me know if you think that in the comments. So I still think this is a pretty cool set. I'm glad I got this. I like the figures themselves. I mean, we have the minor quip with that. I mean, but how... How many people are going to look at it that closely? Like, oh, his eyes not quite lined up. I mean, just the detail being in there is pretty cool. Um, my biggest gripe with this was the price. At being $40 for the set, it's kind of ridiculous. And most of us who've been collecting long enough, remember, when we got multi-packs, it always meant that we had, uh, it got, it was cheaper. It was cheaper to buy multiples than it was to buy singular. And Hasbro seems to have lost that. Although recently I saw that Black Series Mace Windu Clone Trooper set uh, at $45, that's cheaper than my two figures. And I was like, wow, maybe Hasbro's remembering this. I realize in this set, we're getting two separately carded figures in another box. So it's like you are still getting two separate figures. But I, I don't know. It's kind of ridiculous that we're paying 
six bucks for a little box. Um, I, I don't know. I'm not in marketing. I'm not in distribution. I'm not in manufacturing. Maybe it does. I kind of doubt it, but you know, it's, it is a little ridiculous to charge us that much. And if it does, then, then why put it in the box? Why not just make it a two pack and put it out in a white mailer? I'd be okay with that. Do we need the extra box? We seem to be getting lots of these extra boxes and maybe it's just Hasbro's way of trying to charge us more. I don't know, but I'm pretty happy with the set. It's pretty cool. I'm glad to get a, a cool looking Vader like this. Um, we've been getting a lot of Darth Vader's lately. Maybe we're not going to see one for a little while. Um, Maybe it's time for him to take a break. We'll see. It looks sounds like we're going to get some Phantom Menace, Phantom Menace love next year. So maybe we'll see some little uh, Jake Lloyd Anakins or something. So there we are. We have Duels End or Showdown, whatever you want to call it. Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader.